Good evening everyone, my name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to use your XSplit broadcaster to capture Roblox games. So first thing you want to see whenever you notice it like opens up, there's this big black area. And this is what your camera is going to see whenever you're playing. The way you populate this is you come up to add source and you start adding things in. You can add screen captures, game captures, media files, webcams, all kinds of good stuff. I'll let you play with that. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to actually start up Lumber Tycoon just so you guys can see what I normally do. And the way I'm getting this to capture is I'm actually using OBS to capture XSplit. Now this is a little bit big so I'm going to scrunch this down just so you guys can see both screens or both applications. Over here on Add Source I'm going to select Add Source Game Capture Roblox you must have Roblox open in order to see it. There we go. Now, put this in the top left-hand corner, just like that, it's going to snap in place. Right-click on this component and go to Layout, Keep Aspect Ratio, Uncheck. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow you to squish it, move it around, just like that, so you can get full population. <laughs> Somebody just picked me up. Oh, that's funny. Hey, Logan. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I know you want me to play. I'm doing a tutorial. All right. The next thing that I do is I have a camera. So I want to capture my face. I go to Add Source, um, Webcam Capture Device, Logitech Webcam C90, uh, C920 C. Ta da! There I am. Now, have you, as you may have noticed, I have this big green screen behind me. Now the way I get rid of the green screen, right click on this camera component, head over to color, select chroma key right here. And it's going to fade out a little bit, not as much as we'd like. Um, these two settings right here you can start playing with. I want to do it more until it starts to disappear, just like that. And once I can barely see it, I want to turn this down some. And that just makes it more crisp. Ooh, too much took out my shirt and that's because of reflection there we go so now I have my face I have my um, game now let's talk about sound in order for you to hear anything like the microphone or the game itself click on the settings button right here it's gonna pull up your dialog and you're gonna wanna select your system sounds uh, if you don't know how to change around your system sounds come down here to your um, bottom right, click on the speaker, and inside here you can play around with the mixers. Uh, you can also right click and select playback devices and recording devices. Again, that's a different kind of tutorial. This is just over XSplit. Um, once you're done, hit OK. And then uh, to start recording, broadcast, local recording. All right, now I have a setup key where I hit Control Alt F5 to start recording and stop recording. I also have a Control Alt F8 to pause and resume. So if I do Control Alt F5, good evening everyone, my name is Heath Haskins, this is Roblox. Control Alt F8, you can see it paused. Control Alt F8, it resumes. Good night everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe. F5. Control F5. Now, you may have noticed that it looks like this area is kind of scrunched, and that's just because this is not the same size that I normally play. Usually I am maximized, and you'll see as it maximizes or gets bigger and changes, so does the output inside here. This size doesn't change, but this size does. So you can maximize this, keep this off to the back or in, in the background, and that's how to record. That's how I make my videos. So, if you've liked this video, please comment, like, subscribe down below. No pressure, guys. And as always, I love you. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, wait. Control F5 for... Wow, I'm, I'm so used to that. Um, yeah, a little bit different technique on uh, OBS. You actually have to click on stop recording. <laughs>